Uh, I've read that you that you were a big fan of LeBron James growing up, obviously. Uh, can you talk about how special it is for you to play against him tomorrow in a matchup like that? And also, uh, you've been in Boston, Milwaukee, now the Lakers with LeBron. Does he feel kind of the, the final monster of a video game or something? Like he's <laughs> just standing there at the final end? <laughs> oh, you say he's like the final boss? Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I think the first part of your question, like, Like any kid born in 2000, LeBron was my favorite player growing up. You know what I mean? Um, and it's it's hard it's hard for him not to be for for a lot of us. And so I, you know, growing up I was a Cavs fan, then a Heat fan, then a Cavs fan again, then a Lakers fan before I got drafted. You know, it's just how how it went. And so to to be able to compete against him in the championship is uh, kind of like a story sto storybook a little bit, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but that's the great part about being in the NBA is getting to compete against, you know, your idols on a, on a nightly basis. So I, I really look forward to that. And then as far as the second part of your question, I just think um, for us, we're not supposed to be here and nobody expected us to be here. We've been probably looked at to lose the majority of our tournament games. The Philly game, we weren't supposed to win. Uh, Uh, Boston game, we definitely weren't supposed to win. Milwaukee, we definitely weren't supposed to win. So um, that's just been part of the, the 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 storybook of this, and it's been a lot of fun. And uh, but it's not done yet. You know, we got to be prepared to go tomorrow and approach that game the right way.